Now we go off the beaten path to the historic river town of St. Joseph, Missouri. The storied past of this single community is intertwined with the westward movement of the nation, back in the era when the United States was young. Today, St. Joseph is like many mid-sized towns, with a new emphasis on tourism. Its many museums help to reconnect visitors with its colorful history. The city is located along the Missouri River, about 50 miles north of Kansas City. The river forms the Missouri-Kansas border at this point. Even the historic markers reveal St. Joe's history, starting with the expedition by Lewis and Clark. The town was founded in 1843 by Joseph Rubidoux, a one-time fur trader. It wasn't long before the town was outfitting wagon trains about to cross the Missouri for the gold rush of 1849. People in St. Joseph are really proud of the different aspects in American history that they had a role in. Uh, Lewis and Clark, fur trading, um, uh, westward movement. We were one of the major jumping off points for wagon trains going to California. We, in fact, in, during the gold war, rush, we were the number one jumping off point. Two pieces of history fit right in with the town's image as part of the Wild West. St. Joseph was where the Pony Express began. And St. Joe was also the place where the outlaw Jesse James was shot to death. The Jesse James home is now part of the Patey House Museum. Jesse James uh, was shot and killed within a block of where we're standing on April 3rd, 1882. Uh, he was not from St. Joe. He lived here about six months. The house where he was killed, he had lived in exactly 100 days. Uh, but I guess we were fortunate to have it happen here, if it had to happen. And uh, we, we had, the, like, Chicago and various news media showed up. They stayed here in the hotel. At that time, this was called World's Hotel and the, the James family was brought here and they stayed the next two nights while they investigated the death of Jesse James. The railroads also played a key role in the development of St. Joseph, and that prompted construction of structures like the Patey House, once a fabulous hotel. Today, the Patey House is a museum that depicts life through the years in St. Joe. The museum has a little of everything, not necessarily in chronological order. The transportation items range from the railroads to what were horse-drawn carriages to streetcars. Visitors can listen to music while taking in a wide variety of musical instruments. A display on communications includes early Victrolas down to the first television stations. Uh, tourism to St. Joseph is a, is a um, major income for our city. I think that the citizens of our town are becoming more and more aware of this, which is a good thing, uh, because not only does it help us economically, but it helps with our civic pride, and I think that's important for us. All in all, St. Joseph's ties to the Old West keep the visitors coming, many of them fascinated by the town's contributions to the settlement of the Western United States. Join us on our video journeys each season as Sentimental Reflections presents America's heritage in story, scenery, and song. For more information about the video magazine or to become a subscriber, call 1-800-762-0338 or visit us online at sentimental.cc.